hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video uh, we are going to check uh, dependency injection of jsf managed bean in a jsf project so uh, this is the fourth not fourth fifth tutorial in my jsf uh, tutorial series and uh, we are gonna check uh, the injecting of jsf managed bean this is actually uh, done with an annotation uh, at the rate uh, managed property so we are going to see the step by step process what is happening in in uh, in dependency injection here we go first i am going to create a new jsf project so for that uh, select from categories web application select, select next so i am uh, giving the name as uh, dependency injection no, I am uh, giving the name as uh, DI test testing and click next. Now I am selecting the server as Apache Tomcat. Just click next and uh, select the framework as uh, Java server faces. And all of this are I am putting it as uh, default. Just click finish. okay uh, our project has been uh, loaded now i'm going to uh, create a small uh, web function not this one our project our project is ds testing let me delete these two okay i have uh, deleted the uh, previous uh, projects now uh, in this project i'm quickly doing a small uh, updation a modification i'm giving a small form uh, in this index dot uh, xxtml and I am going to print the form uh, values in another uh, web access team. So quickly we can do it. So it will be a form. Insert this. The name. And colon. Input text. And just finish that input text. Now I'll give a submit form here. Just call in command button. And give the value as uh, submit. And give a breakpoint here. And now uh, in the source packages, I'm going to create a new package. I'm giving the package name as com dot uh, dot com. Okay, inside that I'm going to create a JS of managed bean. So the name of the uh, JS of managed bean is hello, uh, hello world JS of managed bean. So inside this uh, I'm going to create a new form. Sorry, new uh, variable. So private string name. Okay, I'm getting a get as and set as for that get name and set name. So I have uh, created a get as and set as of that. And now I'm going to use uh, this thing our chess of index dot xstml. I'm putting the value to that as uh, hello world dot name. Okay, I'm going to create a welcome. Uh, JSF page welcome JSF page so inside this um, just printing hello from welcome and uh, I'm just printing our value here hello world dot name okay so from the index page I am submitting that to action in the action I have to give the welcome name here okay now we are all uh, ready to test the first uh, first modification what you have done this we'll test that now uh, let me run this project uh, run file it will take some time for the fast loading let's wait for that
yes the project has load I am giving uh, some name here Gino Java let's see yes now we can see uh, the symbol form has been loaded now we are going to test the dependency injection here so this hello world uh, is now record scope I want to uh, make it to session scope for better understanding so session scope okay I have made it session scope now I am creating another JS of uh, page here JS of uh, manage bin here the uh, name of the manage bin let it be message I'm just giving for testing just give as message now you can see this is uh, a managed bin and the name uh, of the managed bin is message now I am going to inject this hello world uh, JS of managed bin to this message what is this injection I will show you now just create a private object of uh, uh, the hello world class So I have created a, a object of hello world class here. Okay. Now, now I'm going to inject this hello world uh, JS of uh, manage bin. So for that, I'm giving a uh, attribute here name. So the name I'm giving as uh, hello. And in the message uh, just of manage bin I am uh, annotated in this as manage manage property okay it's from a uh, Java X Java X faces uh, dot bin and I have to give a value here and the value is is the name what we have uh, given in here so it will be hello coming back here inside this uh, just give a uh, value as hello okay now we have uh, what we have done is we have injected uh, this hello world information to this uh, object uh, hello world now I am giving a private string again here uh, message from message bin so I am giving a long name just for our understanding so I am uh, giving a get as set as for this get and set okay in this get as and set as uh, so in the get a um, message I am just giving uh, the return value I am just giving the sum of these two get name so what it will be like we are uh, when uh, we are submitting uh, this form this will go to hello world and then uh, when we are calling this message it will uh, take the value from this hello world and inject to, to this manage bean now if you are calling this message manage bean from JSF pages we can access the information what uh, hello world is received from there I'll show you how so let's see um, giving one more Notation here. No, I'm just updating these two. Uh, hello from message bean printing. Okay, let's now going back to our welcome access HTML. I am uh, giving a breakpoint here now. I'm just printing uh, the message dot message from bin. So what this happen? What will uh, the be the output of this? Let's check and I'll uh, explain how it is. Now uh, let me run uh, the index uh, page again. Let's see. yes it has been loaded now I'm giving as uh, hello hello just click submit let's see no there is an error mm, hello world dot name yes we have we have given a name here 
this name so it should be same as in the welcome dot uh, xhtml because uh, since we have given a managed bin name this uh, name is uh, we are specifying uh, from js of we can use this name to access this managed bin now let me refresh the project i'm just giving some values let's submit still some error is there we are using anywhere that again yes in the first page itself we have four got time to add it let's see copy it again come back paste it here now go back refresh now i'm just giving a big d let's see no there is something error let's check out we have to uh, set the getters and setters uh, here in uh, this message uh, bin first i am going to change the name of this one just uh, take uh, just press control space and take the uh, suggestion name for that now i am giving setters and getters for that now here we should change the name also here okay going back to our project let me refresh yes i have uh, rerun the project here now i am uh, giving a name as chamshi genu now let's submit it let's see yes uh, the message has been uh, printed so this message is uh, directly from uh, the form using uh, the direct uh, hello world uh, js of managed bean and uh, this message is uh, coming directly from uh, this message bean so what just happened now the, uh, what just happened now is once we are uh, supplying uh, from the index directly to this hello world the hello world uh, will show that in the sessions in the session and from this message message bean i am accessing that uh, value uh, from session and uh, uh, just printing that value so the use of uh, this injection will be coming if uh, you want uh, this information globally throughout your project okay so that's how it's, that's a word uh, a basic use of a dependency injection and uh, further use i'll i'll will be discussing in, in coming tutorials so that's all for now about the dependency injection i have created a small basic project uh, for showing you the dependency injection if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching